all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your pick a card reading so we're going to find out what is going on with you and the person on your mind um, through this pick a card so we have one two and three if you guys want to book something personal i do have a promotion going on there is one spot left so i'll leave the code in the description box as well as somewhere on the video so we're going to start off with this pile here i'm just going to move these over so let's see, what is this person feeling? What are they thinking? What's going on with them when it comes to this connection with you? So their message to you is, I want to come back home to you. You're where I belong. We have the chariot, cancer energy. We have the empress. We have received. And we have hopeful. Okay, let's, get, let's make some room. Okay, pile number one. Can you guys see? Okay. You're their person. So we pulled two um, tarot cards for these piles, and you pulled, actually, you guys have two major arcana. So you're very significant to this person, okay? You, you mean a lot to this person. They feel like you're home to them. They feel a sense of, like, this is where I belong. This is where I want to, you know, this is where I want to be. There's a sense of deep connection with you that they feel. And they're seeing you as the empress, right? So this is someone who sees you as their person. That's how typically I read that. If, if the empress comes through in a love reading, it's like, okay, I know this is my person, right? You see this person as embodying all queens. They have all of the characteristics that you would want in a partner. They may want to have kids with you if you don't already. Um, so they're moving towards you, okay? If you have made some sort of a move towards this person, if you've called them, if you've texted them, if you've reached out to them, they have received. Um, I do feel like this person is making moves towards you, even if you don't see it right now. The chariot is definitely someone who's, you know, making forward progress. They are on a journey and they're moving towards you. I don't know, like, I don't know where they are in regards to this journey, but they're trying to remain very optimistic about this future, okay? I feel like right now they're in this process of like planting the seeds, which could mean for them, maybe they're working on themselves. Maybe they're building up their financial stability. Whatever it is, I do feel like they're planting seeds, they're making moves, they're moving towards you because you feel like home to them, okay? Um, now, are they going to be showing up at your doorstep tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> but I do feel like this person is trying to remain optimistic and move towards you. So let's get a few more cards here. Mm, okay, Two of Swords Reverse is interesting, okay? Because this makes me feel like what I was already saying makes sense. Because the Two of Swords is someone who... Not to say that they're unsure but i feel like again are they going to show up tomorrow i don't know they're making moves towards you but there's still some things that they have to figure out let's clarify this two of swords reverse okay so they're they may still have some like worries around this idea of commitment okay they may be it's like they their mind is saying i want to come back home to this person this is where i belong but Am I ready to commit? Can I commit? Like, am, you know, there's this kind of, you guys know what I'm saying? Like, there's sort of like this weariness. Let's get a message here. Let's get a message from this person. I want to go back to the way things were. What does this person want to say to you? And we have, I have depression and anxiety. So there could have been a time where the two of you were connected where they might have felt like things were easier and they want to go back to these, this time with the two of you. Um, obviously there's distance, right, like between the two of you and they are dealing with stuff. So we have, I have depression and I have anxiety. So let's clarify and see what is going on with this person. How is this affecting them when it comes to this connection? The lovers. It could be that love in general maybe causes this person to feel... Um, kind of stressed. Yeah, they have a guard up. You know what? I kind of feel like um, this person does 100% feel a strong connection to you with this lovers. We also have Gemini. However, I think that when it comes to love, this person gets kind of stressed out about it. And because of that, 
they're they they're a bit guarded you know the nine of wands is someone who's treading carefully they may have a wall up they're kind of guarded this could be why we're getting a little bit of uncertainty about like can i commit i don't know i want to commit but i don't know i'm kind of scared to commit you know what i mean i don't it's not you they're not uncertain about you they're uncertain about i wouldn't even say themselves i think it's their fears okay um, but this is what they're thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection right now. So I hope that they can give you some clarity. Let's move on to the next pile. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, what are they thinking and feeling? We have You're So Beautiful, The Four of Cups, The Tower, Cycles, and we have Ashamed. Okay. What the heck is going on here? You're so beautiful. The Four of Cups, the Tower. There's a lot going on here, okay? I'm trying to figure out what this is. So how this person is feeling and what they're thinking. Something happened. Maybe multiple times. So we have the Tower next to the Cycles, which makes me feel like potentially this could be one of those kind of toxic, volatile connections where it's like, you come together, you go through the same cycle every single time, it ends badly every single time kind of energy. So if that's not if that's not how you've been dealing with this person, this is probably not your pile. But if you know that you've dealt with this person where it's like they come back around or you come back around, but it ends the same way and it's always painful, but you try it again, boom, the same thing happens, this is your reading. This person is so, you know, attracted to you. They feel like you're such a beautiful person. They feel so drawn to you, but they also feel like they just cannot seem to break this cycle between the two of you and I feel like you probably feel that way as well this connection is so triggering for them I think what it brings up in them is rejection rejection wounds and feelings of being unworthy whoa okay I just heard and this is weird I don't even know where this came from this person has this like feeling it's like this this thought just came to my mind is like this person is saying I'm never gonna be good enough for you and I don't think that this person I don't think that you ever like did anything to really make this person feel this way I think this is what this connection brings up in them they have this chronic like fear of unworthiness you may not realize it but you like bring up the pain that is already inside of them. And that could be why this connection is so volatile between the two of you. So they are very into you, but I feel like they often don't express themselves. Like I'm just noticing here, this person has their energy closed off and their phone is there. They're not even touching their phone, which makes me think that this person is avoiding communicating with you in some way. Um, okay, especially with this cup here that's reaching out and this person's like no i'm not opening up i'm done i'm over it because they're in this shame energy they're feeling shame and i feel like when this person feels shame or when this person feels unworthy or when this person feels humi humiliated this is the last time that they want to like this is not when they want to open up so let's get a message here what do they want to say to you no one has ever made me feel this way before. Yeah, but all, like in a good way, but also in a bad way. Remember what I was saying here? Like you bring out something in this person that they're not, I don't want to say they're not accustomed to feeling, but you trigger this person. You trigger the good, you trigger the bad. And it's very intense. And they've never met anyone who brought up all of this stuff in them. Like love, but also hate, shame, humiliation. Like you're bringing up so many emotions in this person. I want to clarify what this cycle is between the two of you. What is this cycle between these two in pile two? Queen of Wands, hopefully not love triangle. What is the cycle between these two? Oh, it kind of feels like it is a love triangle. Yikes. Okay, so there must be a cycle of like, there's always a third party. Like maybe it's like when you come back together, you have someone or they have someone. There's there's a cycle of there always being like another person involved. That's what Spirit's telling me. Like, I don't know if it's that you guys are never together when it's like you're both available in some way. Like I feel like there's always someone else or maybe someone uses this as a crutch, like to always have someone else around just in case. You know what I mean? 
that seems to be a cycle that the two of you have a hard time um, breaking. And I do feel like it's coming from this feeling of shame or it's coming from this feeling of unworthiness. Let's get a message from this person. Pile two. Pile two. What do they want to say to you? Yep. What did I say, guys? I pushed you away because I was triggered. What did I just say? You trigger the shit out of this person, okay? Like, seriously. You, I don't even know if you realize it. I'm not necessarily saying, like, you're deliberately doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's just you as a person. You represent something. Like, this, this is one of those connections where you meet. It's, like, very intense, but also very volatile because everything is being activated. So just know that in the past, this person pushed you away because they were triggered. Okay, so I hope that can give you clarity on the situation. That is pile number two. We're going to move on to pile three. However, if you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below and there is one spot left for the promotion. Okay, pile number three. How does this person feel about you right now? Or what are they thinking and feeling? Okay, I pretend I don't care because I care too much. We have the eight of swords, the five of wands. We have mask and we have loving. Oh, that makes so much sense, doesn't it? I pretend I don't care about you because I care too much. And then we literally have loving next to the mask. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, pal three. So this person does love you. Okay, this person does have feelings for you despite the fact that they act like they don't. Okay, this is the mask that this person is wearing. They're wearing a mask to protect themselves from vulnerability. They're wearing a mask so that you don't see how they're really feeling. Even what's interesting is the people in these cards are wearing masks. You can see they, some of them have masks on, which is interesting. I never even noticed that. Like they've got like the face covering. Um, okay. What this person doesn't want you to know is that you have power over them. They do not like this. You hold this, how do I say this? Like the Eight of Swords would represent that you have a sense of control over this person. You probably don't realize it though, pile number three. You probably are like, no, there's no way. Like 100%, you have control over this person emotionally. That's why they pretend not to care about you because you already have this control. So it's the only way for them to kind of gain some sort of control is like, well, if I never reveal to this person that I care about them, then they're not gonna know, right? So then they can't try to control me more because they're seeing this as like, if I'm vulnerable with this person, they're gonna have even more power over me. So they keep this mask on despite the fact that they do love you. I'm also getting though that they're kind of angry at you right now for some reason or there's some hostility between the two of you with this five of wands. So let's clarify. Why is the five of wands here? The 10 of cups. Ooh, 10, 10. The 10 of cups and the 10 of swords in reverse. Okay, so the other thing that I'm getting, um, I think actually they're kind of angry at themselves in a way because maybe they're saying it's you, but I feel like with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups, it makes me feel like they're angry at themselves because they want this. You know, the Ten of Cups is like that ultimate fulfillment. They want this. But with the Ten of Swords, they're not in the energy to receive this. They don't even know how to receive this. I'm also getting two because the tens can represent completion or endings. So for some of you, if this ended or if you did something to end the connection or if they ended it, they're angry because of this ending. Because not to mention, like, I, I actually just feel like even if you ended this, I don't even think that they would say that they cared. Like, I feel like they wouldn't even at that point say, Oh no, come back, because they don't want you to know that you have this power over them. Eight of Swords. Let's get a message on this Eight of Swords. This person is in full-blown protection mode. Like, I'm keeping my mask on, not taking it off. Yeah, see? Eight of Swords. This feels too scary for me right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're in full-blown... Look at this, bottom of the deck. Please don't hurt me. Okay, so... 
as much as I feel like this has been the theme of like the readings as much as this person does love you the problem is that they cannot show up for you because their fears are taking over so I feel like again like how do I explain it even if you ended this connection or even if you put an end to this it's still not going to be enough for this person to take off this mask because they need to overcome they need to figure out what is it so scary for them that they cannot show you how they feel and I think what I'm getting just based on what I'm seeing here is that they already feel like you have so much of a, an emotional hold over them that they don't want you to know how they feel because they feel like you're going to have even stronger hold and it's too scary for this person Let's grab an emotional block to see what is underneath this fear. Helpless. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Eight of Swords is the helpless energy. So what this tells me is that this person already in their life, and this could be stemming back from childhood, feels a sense of helplessness. Okay? So when this is activated, like this is with anyone, right? If you think about it, when we have a wound, we do anything in our power to avoid it. So this person feels helpless already in this connection. So they're doing everything that they can to avoid this feeling of helpless. And you're not directly doing anything. I said this in pile two. It's just that because they have these feelings for you and they don't like that this potentially means that you could have some sort of control over them, they hold back from you so they pretend like they don't care because deep down they care too much like they care too much to the point where it's actually making them feel helpless and too scary or too scared but it's too scary for them okay so that is pile number three so i hope that this resonated and could give you some insight if you guys want to book something personal i do have a promotion going on there's one spot left the information is down below but i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you soon take care